Good morning from sunny Benidorm. It's me again. Have I got my cauliflower ears going on here? <laughs> I've got a pole. Not a Czechoslovakian, a pole. And don't forget, if you can uh, subscribe to my channel or share this video, I would appreciate. Thank you. Going down to Benidorm Beach, Levante Beach, Benidorm, Spain, to look at some World War II gun turrets. And they're right on the beach. Well, I believe they're gun turrets. I believe they're from World War II, not World War I. I'm trying to find out all sorts of information about them, but I just can't. But today we're gonna to have a little look inside. <laughs> Let's get to it. Booyah! Stop. Let's just back up a second here. Let me show you this picture. It will give you some text on where these are located. Have a little look. You see that picture there where the arrow is pointing? That's where they're located. Let's just get a bit closer right there. That's where they are. Let's carry on with the video. All right, before we get started, a quick look at the beach today. Water's kind of calm. That's nice for a change. There's a couple of people walking around. Lifeguard getting his lifeguard station ready just to save all the millions of drowning people. And there's a few people walking up and down the beach. Let you know in perspective where I am. We are outside McDonald's right now. Well, we're on the beach right outside McDonald's. There is McDonald's. The end of the beach, of course, comes very quickly. That's where we're going in that general direction right over there. You've all seen the ski slope. There's the ski slope or the ski ride, whatever you call it. And we're going right over there. What I'm going to do is going to do some photography so you can follow me all the way there. Let's do it. gun turrets. I'm sure they're gun turrets. Thing is, are they gun turrets? Does someone know even different? What I'm going to do, I'm going to set up some equipment now and go for a little look inside. Could be exciting. Might find treasure, might find guns. I know there's rocks in there. That's a bummer. Let's see what we can find. My endeavor to get inside of these gun turrets is going to need some serious equipment. So. Here it comes. Got the big pole. Got a GoPro 7, which I'm going to attach to this mount. My dog's running around, so I'm trying to keep an eye on her and do all this work. Do all this work at the same time. It's kind of a pain in the bottom. It's a little GoPro, little GoPro 7. I'm going to be sticking in the hole. Stick it in the hole. Rule number one, photography, clean your lens. That is going to be my little setup. It's going to be on this pole, which I think is about, I don't know, 10 feet maybe. Can you see the length of that? So that's going to be stuck in the hole like this to film whatever is in there. Now, the problem is, 
God said, let there be light. And it's the one thing if you're a photographer or a videographer, you know you've got to have good light to make good video. So, God said, let there be light. And there was. Tony Scott said, bring light. And he did. So this thing, yeah, that's better. This thing hopefully is going to light everything up in there so we can see what is in there. Let's get to it. It's actually, it's not big enough to put on the tripod, but the tripod will hold it still. And that should give us enough light. Let's see what happens. GoPro is ready to go, you know. Things I do. <laughs> that's one side of it. What I'm going to try to do now is get in the other side. Don't know how that's going to work. Let's grab a little look. See that little hole right there? That's what I'm going to try and get through. Back into the abyss. Barely fits in there. Almost left without retrieving my light. I hope I can freaking reach it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yay! All right, let's put some of this equipment away. Hey, the sun's coming up. Nice. Well, I don't know. Oh, I hope to get me GoPro. I don't know if uh, I got any footage out of that. We'll have to wait and go see. I have beat the shit out of the frame with this camera. And the, I beat the shit out. Oh, we're still filming. <laughs> Idiot. I'm gonna have to wait to get home to look at this properly to see if it picked up any information of what's in there. There was hidden treasures or guns. I don't know. I will find out more about this. If anybody knows anything about these, please leave them in the comments below. I want to know. Because the Spanish don't seem to know anything about them. That was quite fun. Almost left my light. <laughs> I almost couldn't find my light. It fell, I couldn't put it on the tripod. When I put it in the first hole, it fell off the tripod. That's not a good thing. So, uh, got all the equipment back. <sighs> Taking it to pieces now, you see? I'm going to take it to pieces, like my brains, in pieces. When will it ever end? We never know, messieurs. I feel like a caver, like I've been inside a cave, but I haven't. I've just been outside of it. Gonna go for a little walk now. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a great day, look at it. Don't need this scarf on. It's too warm for that. Unzip my jacket. Walk along here, do a little filming. That was quite fun. My dog didn't enjoy it, but anytime she's at the house, she has fun. Just love the sound of the ocean. Did we come here? Come on, girlie. Good 
See, to me, if that is a gun turret, that's well interesting. Imagine years ago in World War II, I'm sure it was World War II, not World War I, but you can imagine men sat in there with their guns, you know, protecting all this beach. Well, the beach wasn't as big as what it is now, of course, but can you imagine that? I'm gonna go home and look up the history or try and find some history of these turrets. Should be pretty amazing, but I feel sorry for them. I wonder if they stayed there for like days with their rations and everything, with their guns just studding on the horizon. Who's coming to get us? Wouldn't that be a trip? Anyway. Have a little wander now. Try and find out some more information about it. Peace.